Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rainbow Six Extraction video. In this video we'll be going through all the React tech and really seeing what the best gear is to bring into your missions. The gear that will always be handy and help you survive and bring your operators back home. But before we continue with the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Plus, you'll always have some content to watch. It's a win-win. Now let's begin. Now for this ranking or guide or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to be splitting all the React Tech into four different categories. Damage, Stealth, Support, and Recon. I'm doing this since the game can be played in a variety of different ways and I want to make sure you all know what I think is the best gear for a certain playstyle. Now there are a few standout React tech that are just amazing no matter what, but depending on how you want to play, you're going to be using different tech. You know, different gadgets, different gear might be better suited for you than others. Anyways, let's start off with the best Recon React tech. For information, for getting that knowledge of enemy placements, you can't go wrong by using the XR Recon Drone. Now I was considering putting the Recon Vapor devices on here, but the Vapor Grenade only spots enemies. The XR Recon Drone, however, automatically spots not only enemies, but objectives and supply boxes as well. It's just the best thing for Recon. You just throw it out and scout the area. If you want to get all that info and not go in blind, just take the 20 to 30 seconds it'll take for you to scan the next couple of rooms and you'll get all the info you need and you'll be prepared to go in with stealth. So, you know, you'll know where the enemies are to stealth around or you'll know exactly where to set your sights if you want to go in loud. The only downside being is that you have to operate it. You have to manually drive it around. Now that can be seen as a downside, but when you think about it, it's really easy to make sure that your operator stays safe while you're driving around your drone. You can simply just use the airlock, for example, just stay in the airlock and send your drone out, or you can just clear out a room of any enemies and nests, then go prone in a corner, somewhere where even if an enemy does walk in, they still aren't likely to see you. It's not too difficult. Once you get into that safe spot though, you can just go out and spot everything you need for you and your team. Other than the XR drone, or if you want to use something else in your gear slot, the scan grenades and scan mines are also perfect for getting that info. Now I say both of these because depending on which objectives you have, you're going to want to go with one and not the other. Basically, if you have any defend objectives like serial scan, you want to use a scan mine. You can just set up a couple of scan mines around each scan, down every hallway or window enemies can come from. This way you pretty much know exactly where the enemies are coming from and how many there are. Plus, once you're done with one scan, you can go pick up your mines and reuse them on the next scan. For most other objectives, you can just use the scan grenades. Just toss them in each room and let the grenades do the work, marking all your enemies and targets for you. Next, we're moving on to stealth. What gear do I think is the best for stealth? In my opinion, it has to be the smoke grenade. Now, in my opinion, most of stealth is going to be your movement and timing. You're going to have to have that skill there, you know? to know when you can pass by unseen or when you can safely take down an enemy without alerting the others nearby. That's all skill and there's really not a gadget that can fix that, but smoke grenades can certainly help. For starters, they're silent. As long as you don't hit an enemy on the back of the head, you know, you just throw it on the ground and let it go off, it's silent. You can use it to mask your position so that no one notices you while you slip through a hallway or work on an objective, and you can also use it offensively. You got an enemy just facing your doorway that refuses to turn around or move away, well just cover them with smoke, approach and then get your takedown. It's that simple. Use smoke to cover your own movements or use it silently to cover an enemy for a quick and free takedown. As for support react tech, there are a couple really good options, making this one of the more difficult choices to make. For example, you have three really good health slash defense options. You got body armor, the revive kit, and the anabolic accelerant. Which one of these you use is, you know, it depends on a lot, like your team comp and what you prioritize. For example, if you have healers on your team, you might not want to take the accelerant. You might want to take the body armor so that you can take less damage and ensure that you actually go down so that your friendly neighborhood doc can pick you right back up. Or if you play solo or just don't trust your friends, you can bring the revive kit. So when you do go down, it's not an instant failure. You can still get yourself back up and escape. 
and I mean the infirmary is better than having to rescue your operator. So yeah, it really depends on the situation. Just think about all the factors involved and take the one that best fits the situation that you're in. As for damage react tech, I think the best options are the claymore and the nitro cell. Both useful, but in different situations. The nitro cell is great for just doing massive damage and really just destroying that one big enemy target or a bunch of little ones. You can also throw it down while you're escaping and blow it up at the perfect moment to kill the enemies chasing you. The claymores are good for defense objectives. You can just set them up and any enemies coming after you will run into it and, you know, explode. They're also really useful for the decontamination protocol. When you shoot that first green nest, they all activate and are counted as enemies. So before you destroy that first nest and kick the whole thing off, plant a bunch of claymores in front of the other ones. Once you kill that first nest, they will all activate, which will cause the claymores to go off since they are reading the nest as an enemy. Meaning you can just take out most of the nests in a single go and just have an easier time with that objective. I also want to note that it's not a bad idea to use the explosive harness. It gives you three extra explosives whenever you spawn it. So if you really are going for that all damage, all explosive playstyle, you definitely need this. I mean, think about it. You could have so many nitro cells or claymores or grenades or whatever you want. You can have three extra. That's great. So we're this far into the video and you might think I'm crazy because I haven't brought up that one piece of react tech, that one item that's useful no matter what play style you're using, that one item that can be used in stealth, it can be used to get kills and deal damage, and it can save your buddy's life. I think the best react tech in the game is hands down the paralysis grenade. Like just no contest. It's literally perfect for any situation outside of killing a bunch of nests at once. But for everything else, it's amazing. So if you don't know, the paralysis grenade will detonate on impact and paralyze any enemy's hit for a couple of seconds. This means they stop in their tracks and you just can run up to them and get a free takedown. Oh, is a smasher or tormentor chasing you? Just hit them with a single paralysis grenade, then run behind them and use a takedown. Oh, is an enemy about to spot you and alert all the nearby enemies in your stealth run? Just hit them with one of these and shoot them or use a takedown. Are you and your buddies being chased by a group of enemies? Just turn around and toss one their way to stop them in their tracks, making them a clean and easy group of kills. As you can see, it's pretty useful. You can use it in any situation to come out on top. No matter what's messing you and your squad up, these things can just help you and your team. Now they do make a loud noise. So in stealth runs, you have to make sure that other enemies are a couple feet away, you know, like not in a giant group, like clustered together. But once you use them a bunch and learn the sound range on them, you'll have no problem using them in stealth. I do it all the time. So yeah, there are a couple of the best react tech for each playstyle and the paralysis grenade, which overall I think is the best piece of gear since it's, you know, useful in every situation, regardless of playstyle. Just being able to take down stronger enemies at literally any time is so useful and hard to pass up on. Like most groups will probably be running these on harder difficulty content. I know I run them and everyone in my squad runs them, so yeah, I don't know if that means anything, but I can definitely, you know, be a witness to how good they are. And that's going to be it for this video. I want to hear from you all. What do you think about the gear I picked? What do you think is the best React Tech? And do you agree with me that paralysis grenades are just extremely good? I don't know. So let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for even more amazing Rainbow Six Extraction content. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to the community Discord server where we talk all Siege all the time. I'm the Battle Moon, and I will see you in the next siege.